film is going to be about the Julie story, which is one of actors' uh, methods of creating stories from scratch. Um, it's a great method that we've used lots of times over many years to help us create plays. Um, it works well with the group because they all throw their ideas in together and so that they all feel they have ownership of the story um, at the, in the end. Um, it can work well if you want to start with a theme um, or you can just have a blank piece of paper and together create the story. Um, from that story, that's how we then develop our plays. But let me give you an example of how we do this Julie story method. So the way I'd normally start the Julie story is with a big blank piece of paper and the group sort of all sat around looking at the paper all around us. And we start by drawing a person on the piece of paper. And I ask the group just to call out um, and give me suggestions about it. So can someone tell me who this person is? Sandra. Her name's Sandra. Sandra. Lovely. And how old is Sandra? 35. And she's 35 years old. Lovely. Um, does Sandra have a job? Is she... She's a pharmacist. A pharmacist. Lovely. Yeah. Is Sandra happy in her work, a happy person? She is happy. She's yeah. happy, lovely, okay, let's give her a smile there. Okay, Sandra, 35 farmers. Now where does Sandra live? Does she live in Bristol or another she, town? She lives in the centre of Bristol. Centre of Bristol, okay. And does she live in a a house or a flat or a She lives in a tree house. She lives I love it. She lives in a tree house. Right. <laughs> a tree house in the centre of this <laughs> Okay. So, in the, the tree house in the centre of Bristol, Sandra lives, are there any other people living with her or in her house or in other tree houses? There, are, there is a village of tree houses. Yeah. Love it, a little village of tree houses. Okay. And does this village have a name? Um, Summertown. Or Summersville makes more. Summersville, I love it. Okay. So there's other people living in tree houses. Can you give me a name of another person who lives in another tree house? Jake. Jake, lovely. So we've got Jake, one of her neighbours, and maybe somebody else we've got over here in their tree house. Who's this? Smithy. Smithy. Lovely. So Jake. What do we know about Jake? How old is Jake? He's 25. 25 years old. And um, Jake and Sandra, are they, are they friends? Do they get on or are they uh, not get on? Or? They, they struggle a bit with each other. Okay. Okay, great. So we've got... Jake, 25, does, um, does Jake have a profession? Is he, um, what does he do? Does he have a partner or does he's, he live alone? He's a student. A student. And he, does he live alone in this house? He lives alone. He lives alone, great, okay. Um, Smithy, let's find out a little bit about Smithy. So Smithy, does Smithy live alone in his tree house? Smithy lives with his girlfriend. Oh. And what's her name? Julie. Julie. Okay. We've got Smithy over here, Julie. And Jake. Okay. Um, Sandra's relationship with Smithy and Julie, do they get on? They get on better than she does with Jake, yeah. Okay. So she has a good relationship with Julie. So can we go call her friend then? Yeah. Okay, so friend. Of Julie in particular. Great. How about Jake and Smithy? Do they get on? Not as well, no. Okay, so there's a bit of a. Is there something that Jake has done that's upset his neighbours? He, he just likes to keep himself to himself. Okay, so he's quite fine there. 
Was there a reason that Jake's quite private? He's he's a little bit nervous around other people. He get, has social anxiety, but it comes off a little bit like he doesn't like the others in his in his village. One day, something happened in their village of Somersville, something that had an impact on all of these four residents. What was it? There was a flood. A flood. Okay. Love it. Okay, so, as you can see, we're beginning to create a group of characters. We've got a situation, we know they all live in tree houses, we know a little bit about them. And we could continue this, we could, as a group, continue to develop the story. Or we could, at this point, ask them to go off into groups to start developing it further individually as gr in groups. So, people p taking on the character of Smithy, Jake, Julie, Sandra... Um, maybe looking at the flood, how do they cope with it, what happens, looking at the relationships, how they might um, develop, maybe looking at history, you know, what, what's going on with Drake, why Sandra decided to live in a tree, so we might do scenes um, prior to this, the beginning of the story, when she first moved in, why did she make that decision, um, those sort of things. So you can sort of take it in lots of different ways, and it's for the facilitator to sort of lead, but um, drop extra bits in, like bringing in a dynamic of, of something exciting happening, something that has an effect on people, seeing what's needed to create tension in your story, to create um, something for the characters um, to react to. Um, so this is the beginning of it, but what I'd like to do is show you one that we've already created with a group of women in Bristol and show you a little bit about how that story then developed up into a, a performance. <laughs> of a Julie story that I created with a group of women um, that we were working together in the Barton Hill area of Bristol. Uh, they were a group of women who were a mixture of uh, refugees and migrants and together we came up with some themes that they wanted their play to be about. Uh, they wanted their play to be about a, virtu a virtuous woman and the idea that if you are good to people and kind to people then um, you will be rewarded for that and that kindness will come back to you. So that was one of the main sort of um, starting points for the play. So we started creating a character and we started and the first character was Teresa. Um, she was 50, she's got two sons, um, Zacchaeus and Adam, who don't live with her anymore. So all these ideas were being thrown at me from the group that the women were calling out letting me know what they wanted this character to be about. Um, she talks to everyone, she's very helpful, she's kind and generous with everyone. No, please, love one another. Love your neighbour as you love yourself. Treat people how they want, not how you want. And she lives in a flat in Bristol, in Barton Hill, where there's various other people that live there too. Um, one of the other characters was a character called Maria, who um, had two children. Um, she constantly borrows money from Maria, which she doesn't pay back. Um, she's a very needy friend who's give me, give me, give me. Um, has got these two children that she always asks Teresa to look after um, and she smokes very heavily. Um, then there's another character called Nikki who is single, um, who um, easily offended, incredibly nosy, um, hence this very long nose on the character, was into everybody else's business, was envious, jealous of everybody else and a very gossip gossiped about everybody in the flat, knew everything and spread that around. Listen, I come from this, you know the new ladies, the one that do the nails? Yeah, your mom is there. Oh, she's telling her that she's going to take you to Africa. She and your dad bought you a ticket, take you to Africa, so you are not go to university. And then there was this character called Lana who was just moving in um, and was going to get to know everybody as the play progressed. <laughs> As the group 
group changed um, over time. We had different people coming in. Um, the two characters, Maria and Nikki, became one character, and all her bad traits all um, became part of Nikki's personality. Um, and Lana, we learned a lot more about as the play progressed, and she had moved to England and was moving into the flat. Oh, so where do you live before you come to this Holland. Hostel? Holland, yeah. Just Holland. Holland. And why are you here? Mm, why, why? I guess it's a... Uh, well... You come to look for a job? No, not really. <laughs> well, <laughs> it would be good, but I didn't expect to be in this position, to be honest with you. I do need only perfume, my dear. Please, I'm sorry to be noisy. <laughs> Please, I know it's sad. Please. I think, um, well, when I was very young, I got married. Uh, to my childhood sweetheart. Really. Okay. We got married, we were in university, English class together, and just could not separate us. And about a year and a half after we got married, a drunk bicyclist ran me right down. And that was it. It was gone. Oh, we had so many plans, you know, traveling and everything, and it was all gone. I was on my own for years. Now, there, there was a whole other story that the women were really keen to get in, which was the idea of a mother um, who was from a, another country and had brought up her, 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 child, her children, and in particular her eldest daughter, in England. And the difficulties of different cultures within a family could bring. So we created a, another Julie story about this character. And here she is. So this is Sarah who also lives in the flats with Teresa and Nikki. Now the idea of Sarah is they wanted her to have a uh, husband of, and they were a Muslim family. Um, the husband in particular, Hassan, it was very strict. Um, they'd grown up in Dubai um, and their children had all been born in England and been brought up here. Now the eldest daughter, Leah, um, they wanted her to have a very good relationship with the mother um, where she told her everything, um, but there, there were secrets kept from the father because uh, he, he wouldn't approve of some of the things that were happening. Now this whole um, secrets and things um, really developed as the play developed um, and became a very um, important part of the storyline. She wants to go to uni now. <coughs> My husband doesn't want her to go to uni, but I really want her to go. Have you talked to your husband? He doesn't know anything about... Why are you making all these things for the man of the house? The cast took the characters from the Julie story um, and they went away into groups and started to develop each of those characters. Um, they developed their, their relationships between each other, the backstory, um, and slowly from these scenes we were able to create a scenario making sure at all times that the, um, the women felt that they still had ownership of the story and um, that we hadn't lost the main themes and our main starting point of the play. Um, so as this scenario uh, developed, they started to uh, continue to work on that, devising scenes, making sure all the time that we had each character's story arc and each uh, character had a moment of self-realisation um, and at the end of the play, a time when they all came together um, to really show that theme of um, kindness and if you work together um, and if you're kind to other people it will be you will be rewarded for that and so together by that point we had then created the play Flat on Palm Street. Yeah.